quite often, and for the most part, it allows to share our stories. I've been very fortunate in my young life that uh, I've been able to sh travel and share the dreams of being able to tell our stories in song to many people all over Turtle Island. Growing up, knowing the legacy of being a prehistoric people, only three generations away from myself and the person that you see here before you, now into the technological age where just with a click of a button, our songs and our stories can be hear, heard all around the world. Being a songwriter to me means that I'm able to take those songs, take our stories, take our traditional knowledge and all of the wonderful pieces that make us who we are as Indigenous people of the North to a broader area. Growing up here, we grew up in isolation. We grew up dealing with adversity, not only with the cold, but into also dealing with newcomers, newcomers to our land who have brought us into a whole generation and into a new time. Being very fortunate to have come from a musical family, I feel that this gift of song, this gift of being able to create, has kept us alive with the ability to survive. During those long nights and cold winters, we were often sheltered within our small, tiny homes with many, many people and having to learn to pass the time. Also being able to give out that emotion, to share our stories and our songs with other people so that we all feel joined together as one. Very, very proud to say that I was given this gift and gifts are meant to be shared. And having traveled and being able to tell our stories of the people, it leaves us in a, it leaves me in a place where I feel as a historian of our music, our culture, and our people, and our heritage. And today I'm going to share a song for you um, about some of our trials and tribulations. As you know, as Indigenous people, many of us have come together in residential schools. We have survived not only harsh climates, temperatures, um, but in a transitional time where we've had to go from being on the land to being put into a regulated school system, being taken away from our home, being taken away from our cultural values, being told that our songs and our stories were no longer relevant. And I'm proud to say that coming back into our time, our culture, our people, our songs have become more relevant, have become stronger, and have become the voice of who we are and I believe will lead us into a new generation of stronger Indigenous We walk by the river, Grandpa held my hand and told me the story about our great land. And he said,
go.